Hey there, friend, and welcome back. My name is Sarah Rusk, and oh my goodness, life is getting fun. So, as many of you guys know, I've been going through a bit of a transition in my life where something, a job that I have done for a very long time, is ending, and I am on to the next phase of my life. And I was having a conversation with my very good friend, Jen Chase, that I met through the Dr. Joe Dispenza work. There's a lot of really amazing people out there in that work, uh, in the Kyle Cease community too. It's just a lot of good people out there. It's just a matter of being patient and tuning your vibration in order to bring them into your life. You know, it's kind of like how if you stumbled upon this video, we in some way are a vibrational match and the information that I'm going to bestow upon you in today's episode is something that you might need to hear. Maybe not right now, but maybe in the future. And with that said, maybe you should hit the subscribe button just in case. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> so I was talking to my good friend Jen Chase this morning and she was like, you know what? You are, you know, you're a good listener. You have helped me reflect on so many things that I have been through, you would make a really good coach of some kind. And at first I was just like, I don't know about that. I will be completely transparent with you, friend. I had a very bad experience with something similar to this. Um, it was just energetically not a good exchange. It was extremely awkward. Um, and it kind of really turned me off to wanting to work one-on-one -on -one with people. Um, I also needed to become more empowered within myself in order to want to do it. Um, but after doing a lot of self-reflection, a lot of self-work, and actually kind of toying around with that idea, I might, I might give it a shot. I think it would be really cool to work with, you know, a select group of, of friends and, you know kind of bestow upon some of the wisdom that I have been so lucky to gain throughout my journey and really help people to shift into being an incredible version of themselves and a self that's been like in them all along. So I mean, I get comments all the time saying how I'm inspiring people to make YouTube channels for work and stuff that they're going through, you know, just how I keep going and how I keep showing up. They keep wanting to do the same thing. So to have the opportunity to work one on one with me to kind of customize it to what it is that you're going through, because I know I enjoy when things get like tailored and customized to me because that's I'm able to understand it and apply it to my like life situation, circumstance, situation. Apparently, it's the word I was trying to say. Um, and yeah, so I'm toying with that idea and I'm going to pose this question to you guys out there. If I offered like a service like this, if it's something, a service that I offered, if people would be interested in it. I also think, I know I toyed around with this a couple of months ago, I think I'm going to start doing live calls once a week, especially now that my schedule is going to be open for it, plan on a day and just say, hey, I'm coming on, you know, Tuesdays at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If anybody is around and wants to hop on and has questions for me about things, situations that they're in, you know, I would love to start doing stuff like that. So, and it's really funny just the way that all of this is coming together and the ideas. Because if I started becoming a coach, I could literally do this anywhere and help, seriously help people and just be there for them as they, you know, they just shift into an incredible version of themselves. Like, you know how rewarding that would be? Oh my goodness. So I'm really toying with that idea. So another thing that Jen had said too, which really sparked the topic and the idea of this conversation is, you know, how valuable she says that I am just because of my energy and who I am, which, you know, begs the question, what is worth more? The physical money, what's in your bank account, or the energy that you put out and how you make people feel? Your energy is the highest form of currency. Because if you are able to be a space for somebody and help them to feel good or shift or like transmute something, alchemize something within their body, within their, their energy field that helps to unlock them and helps to get them into a better place. That is like, 
it's priceless because you are literally, you know, enhancing somebody's quality of life. Like, granted, the person has to do all the other work to be able to, like, put the pieces together. But, like, how you make other people feel, like, that's infinite. That is infinite. It costs nothing to help somebody to feel good about themselves. Like, it costs nothing to listen. It costs nothing to listen to a friend, a parent, a sibling, somebody, you know, and just to have that simple exchange. So your energy is the most valuable currency. And I am on the path right now to keep increasing my worth and my value and not in a monetary sense, but in a sense of the words that I say and the energy that I put out when somebody is in my presence to just feel rich and uplifting and to help somebody else to just really feel okay with being themselves. You know how amazing that feels? Like, it feels so good. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. So that's the path that I'm on right now. I'm reading all my books, watching all my videos, doing all my meditations, though I had a crazy weekend and I was not able to do my meditation yesterday, technically. I was up and I went down the shore with friends of mine and we were up until like five o'clock in the morning. I did a meditation from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. I did the alchemist because I was like, I need to meditate. So technically I did meditate yesterday. I had a panic moment today where I was just like, I am so scared <laughs> because I don't know where like money is coming from. And then I literally thought to myself, girl, like you need to sit your butt down and remember who you are. Remember the energy that you put out into that world. You are an infinite creator and you can create and transmute anything. I had a conversation with somebody yesterday that completely like blew my mind and it changed my perspective of them. And this, what I'm about to talk about right now has to do with intuition. And I, what this person told me is stuff that I have known about them for like years, like well over eight plus years. And they finally told me about it. And my intuition told me, and I kept telling my intuition, no, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong you're wrong. It, this isn't how it is, but it was how it was. Again, sorry for being vague. All of this just to say, if you are tuned in and you have feelings, gut hunches about stuff, you are probably correct about it, about anything. And I've got a gut hunch about how awesome things are about to get here and how awesome they are right now. And just... <sighs> I'm here for it. I'm so excited. Your guys' overwhelming support has just, it feels so good. I can't thank you guys enough for your comments, sharing what it is that you're going through. I want to give a very special shout out to my friend Jody, who was amazing and contributed on to, I have a, a page called ko-fi.com slash hey there friend, where if you feel so inclined to and got something out of this episode, you can buy me coffee. So Jody, this coffee is on you. Thank you so much friend for your support and thank you for everybody who leaves comments thumbs up who watches these videos if you would not mind sharing these videos i'd greatly appreciate it greatly appreciate the support and love from every single one of you guys today thank you so much for being here i'm gonna keep this one kind of short i just wanted to pop on here and i don't know talk about it i cannot wait to show up here tomorrow again and talk about more of what i learned oh one quick thing i want to throw in here too when you are going up against something that causes uber resistance, learn how to accept it and just allow it to be. Example, my mom was trying to do laundry before and she was fighting with the washing machine. She is the only one in this household that fights with the washing machine. My sister and I have no problems whatsoever. And she was down there for like 45 minutes to an hour. She came upstairs and she was just like, oh my God, I'm the only one that like has issues with this. And she was like, really you know, having a hard time with it. And I told her, I was like, listen, I know for a fact that our energy fields can affect machines and technology. So you need to figure out how to accept it and let it go. So that way then this doesn't happen to you again. And she was just kind of just like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'll keep you updated on my mom and the washing machine. But it's very true. When something happens, the more that you keep reacting to it, the more that you keep resisting it, 
the more it's gonna happen. Trust me on this one. Relax, let it go. Remember, that's interesting. Whatever. Keep on going about your day. You so got this, friend. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, you are the most important person in this entire universe. Love yourself no matter what is going on in the 3D around you. And just promise me you'll keep singing. Okay, friend?